Eric Garrity, Sing Sing Kill Brewery. This is our first ever uh, event that we've uh, organized outside the tap room. The idea was to create an event that focused on the diversity of Austin and uh, put a spotlight on all of the Austin businesses that operate in, in the downtown or, or in you know the uh, village and uh, give them a chance to come out. We, we've walked people through the process to, to be able to do these kind of events now outside of their facility and, and broaden their uh, scope. So. Uh, a lot of people came out, everyone's excited about it, the food is delicious, uh, the music is fantastic, and the weather can be uh, more agreeable. So is this going to be a regular thing every year? Uh, based <laughs> on the excitement that uh, we're feeling today, I would say we would probably go for this again. Yeah. And what in your words was the whole reason for doing it? What was the whole point? Well, the whole point was to showcase the diversity of Austin and, and all of these businesses you hear so often like, oh, I didn't know that was there, I didn't know that was there. So, you know, here it is, like, gives everyone an opportunity to see all of these people, uh, all of these uh, interesting uh, cuisine from anywhere from uh, Jamaica, we've got Peruvian, uh, Turkish, uh, El Salvadorian, Colombian. Uh, you name it, it's all here, you know, Americana. We, it's, it's, it's fun to do a barbecue that is open to all kinds of expectations. So it's just the, whatever whatever open flame grilling means in your culture, that's what we're trying to do here in Austin is, is our big ass barbecue. <laughs> so excited to, to showcase all of the uh, Austin businesses here today. Kelly's going to run down a list of uh, all of our vendors and sponsors that have made this possible today. Yeah, yeah, thank you. As you'll see, we have um, Lex Taylor Barbecue, Brothers Fish and Chips, Woo! Yeah, First Village Coffee, Good Choice Kitchen, um, Lee Gay Turkish Cuisine, Pagoma Events, Sing Sing Kill Brewery, yeah, baby. Ashley Kimmel like like Moving Cuisine, um, Karma Lounge, and Craven Jamaican. Thank you all for being here. Um, also, uh, thank you to our sponsors. It wouldn't be possible without uh, without them. So we have, some of them are here. We have InAustining.com, sponsored by Shots Realty Group, Coldwell Banker, the Town of Austin Democratic Committee, and uh, <laughs> some uh, sponsors that are not here. Hey, I just wanted to say a couple of, couple of words. Uh, Matt, I'm the brewer uh, at Sing Sing Kill Brewery. I want to also thank everybody for coming in. Uh, I want you to know that our beers are uh, our New York farm beers. So that means that we use New York ingredients uh, to make delicious adult beverages that people want to enjoy. Uh, so thank you all for enjoying that, coming out and sharing it with us. Cheers, everybody. Woo! And, and all of these vendors here today, are from Austin and have businesses in Austin. So please, please frequent them. Okay? Yeah. Yes. And and taste them all. They're delicious. <laughs> Like, oh, beside it, no, it's summer like quick breathing in the body.
Hi, my name is Christina, and I'm the founder of the Austin LGBTQ Alliance. Uh, the reason that it was important for the Austin LGBTQ Alliance to sponsor the Big Oz Barbecue is because Sings and Kill Brewery has been uh, one of the biggest allies in Austin to the Austin LGBTQ community. I know, I'm really excited about having local craft beer. Uh, I'm really excited about checking out the Good Choice Kitchen vegan booth, but uh, I'm a pizza girl, so I might check out Hudson Oven. Um, and it, it's so exciting to show up here and not be able to make a choice of what to eat, and that's really showcases the diversity here. So this is the first annual Big Oz Barbecue, right? Do you see it becoming an annual thing? I think that this is going to be an annual thing, and I really, really hope it's going to be an annual thing. definitely wanted to be here. This represents Austin well. We are a diverse community and with several different businesses here and we all complement each other well. Uh, what we're serving today is some jerk chicken and some of the patties. So uh, we brought beef patty, uh, vegetable patties, spinach patties and um, we didn't want to bring any kind of rice because like I said others are doing other things so we want everybody to get a taste of Austin. <laughs> separating it and where the garbage is going and where the compost is going. The vendors here are all required um, by being part of this festival or whatever this beautiful day um, to provide compostable goods. So everything that they're serving on uh, from the napkins to the plates. We actually have bamboo plates that the pizza people are serving things on. You can probably rewash them and sell them, but they're going into our compost bins. So um, everyone seems to be pretty much in compliance. It's a it's been a really kind of interesting thing, and, and these kids are learning a lot, so I think they kind of tripped into this community service thing, but they're having a good time. Um, I might have some new Green Austin members, so that makes me happy. But, um, yeah, so it's been kind of interesting. I'm loving this. Yeah. It's a great day. But even, even, you know, the weather is cooperating, but it's also, I think a lot of people are just happy to be out on a day like today. <laughs> resident, uh, word of mouth, my buddy Roy, who still lives here, called me up and said, there's a, uh, a thing at the river, and, I, and I'm like, Austining, I love Austining, I, I love this riverfront, it's freaking amazing, I come, whenever I find out about something here, I come here, and it's so beautiful, and the people are so, you know, nice. Have you had any food yet? Uh, no, but it, there's a lot here, and I'm going to eat a little bit of everything I can. Yeah, okay. <laughs> this is really cool, it's, uh, you know, it, it, this is river and suburban living, and it's Absolute best. That's why. My name is Omar Lopez. I'm running for Austin Village trustee, and this is the Big Oss Barbecue. I love this event. It is the first year it is happening. It will not be the last. We got beautiful weather this year. And that's because this is an event that's bringing all of Austining together. We have a lot of events in Austining as one of the things that makes it great. But one of the things that makes the Big Oss Barbecue particularly special is the Austining Focus. You have restaurants and businesses from the village of Austining representing here. And you can see the people that you can support throughout the year. So come now, come next year and every year after that, the Big Oss Barbecue. <laughs> 